Well, we've been waiting for spring. Maybe it is finally here in Loudonville, Mac College Lacrosse. On what started as a sunny day, a little more overcast now. Canisius comes to town to take on your Siena Saints. A oh, couple minutes into this first quarter here. Loudonville, the place to be, is Siena men's lacrosse team battling with their rivals from western New York here this afternoon. Saints with an opportunity here. Big shot, crank it up and score. Saints strike first, a goal from Kyle Curry. They move it around here, Prunty. Prunty takes the shot and scores. Passing lanes and, and plays like that, forcing turnovers, forcing ground balls, and then giving their team an opportunity to run out, which they will try and do here. Saints on the move. Hurley, shooting, buries it. He's had a hard afternoon for a guy who scores so many goals. Canisius has really limited his amount of touches. Hurley gets free to the cage. Richie Hurley dumps it in. Six to two, Sienna. Hey, Barry looking for somewhere to go. Ball pops out of his stick, disrupts the offense for just a second. But they set it right back up with Hurley. Hurley's going to circle the cage, shoot, and he does it again. Tough angle, Richie Hurley buries one. Edwards fakes it, gives it up, and his brother buries it. As Edwards finally has a point in this game. Is Courts unable to stop that one as Canisius throws it to the goal. Cody Gould first of the game and it is a one goal game. But it was back to back goals by Hurley, 6-2, 7-2. We thought that might be curtains for Canisius, but they've come out and really uh, played very well in the fourth quarter. Mary gets around his man behind the cage, Hurley way up top. Prunty's gonna crank it up, and Prunty buries it. Boy, did they need that. Will it continue? Under two minutes to go. Ball in the stick of Hurley. And if you're Canisius, time ticking away. You've got to kind of go after these Siena players. Hurley circling, giving it off. Clive shoots and scores. 15 seconds to go. Siena is going to run this thing out and make it 11 consecutive wins against MAC opponents here at home. John Zvek stays perfect. The Mac games at Siena Tour Field, and the Saints pick up their third consecutive win, knocking off the Griffs 10 7. Boy, foreshadowing, huh? You really like the way Richie's playing right now. He's been playing really well. He's been playing really well. He um, he sees the sees the uh, the field really well, and uh, his, his teammates respond to him and got him involved. Um, you know, and, and overall, it was a great win for the for the program and for our seniors. For you guys, you've got the lead at the half. Then in the third quarter, they make a little run. All of a sudden, it's a one goal game. What do you see out of the kids, and, and what's the, the mindset as they get it down to one? Uh, you know what? We talk about playing with emotion, and I think at that point, e even myself, I got caught up in the emotion a little, and, and these guys did a great job of, of settling down when we got the offensive possessions. Canisius did a great job of having the ball at their end when we got the ball back with us. You know, we did a good job of finishing it, and the defense you know, uh, stepped up. Tommy uh, Tommy Kors did a great job there at the end to make some, some big saves. John, five different goal scorers today. What, what did you like from your offense? It was pretty balanced. Uh, you know, just just a good effort all around, I would say. We try to, I mean, the, the guys know. There's no superstars here. They're, Richie's a hell of a player. Sorry, a great player, but um, there's a lot of guys that, that are involved in that that get him an opportunity, uh, that win a ground ball to give him the ball to, to feed to Prunty or somebody else. And um, there, there's no heroes. There's just guys giving great efforts every day. John, usually I'd say we'll see you at the next home game, but the schedule makers didn't make it easy. We only get one game together here this year. We appreciate year. it. We appreciate you guys coming out, and it's great for the program. It's great for the area to see great lacrosse, and uh, we, we, we're very appreciative. Thank you. And we're looking forward to seeing you for the UAlbany game. We'll see you over there when you play at John Fallon Field. John, right. congrats on the win today. Thanks, guys. John's back, head coach of the Siena Saints, who pick up the win over Canisius 10-7 here this afternoon. Andy, I think, you know, important, you know, John talked about it. They, they didn't kind of lose focus. You know what I mean? You get caught up in the heat of the moment. They didn't do that when it was a one goal game and, and look what happens yeah they were able to stead in the tide and that was really the difference uh it was eight to seven and uh 
you know, it was just, uh, it was incredible the fact that they were able to only be up by one goal, then all of a sudden, you know, they, they were able to respond, and it was the guy who's down on the field with us now, Richie Hurley, who was able to push it and throw. Well, Richie, got to feel pretty good to come out of here with a win 3-0 and in the MAC. You know how much those league games mean. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's going to be really good for us moving forward, I think. Uh, it's kind of the end of a home stretch here, but it's, it's good to get these uh, these home MAC wins out of the way and uh, kind of build for a little when we get on the road. So I was, I was asking Coach right before you came on, and I talked to him at practice this week about your play and he had nothing but good things to say you tell me how you're feeling and what you're seeing right now because from our perspective you see the field uh, a lot better than anybody else uh, I think uh, coach Svack and coach cross have done a really good job uh, putting me in good spots behind the net and uh, guys like Colin Clive and uh, Jordan Barlow all the middies they're cutting to the right spots and uh, they're just open and I'm finding them they're putting the ball in the net Richie, just talk about what does it say about the team? You know, Kenny just went on a run. I'm sure you guys knew they would. What does it say about the team, though, that you're able to come back, respond, and, and able to pull the, the game out with a three-goal win? Uh, I think that's uh, something we're trying to build on moving forward is being a team that can finish. And, uh, you know, we lost to Robert Morris earlier in the year at home. Uh, we were up by a couple goals, and they came back on us. So we really wanted to send a message here uh, saying that we could be a team that can finish games and come out on top. Good stuff, Richie. Congrats on the win. Go get inside. We've, we've ordered the rain. Let's hope we can get out of here before it comes. Thanks a lot, guys. Richie.